Hey guys, Dave here. What I have is Ravine, a crafty and cooperative card game. It's from Timber and Bolt. I reviewed one of their other games. It was called Space Team, and that one was a real-time game, and I thought it was a really good game, so I I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, they sent me this to review. It's for three to six players, age 10 and up. And let's see what it says on the back. It's a strategic and cooperative survival card game. That's pretty interesting. I like survivalism and stuff. You and your friends survive the plane crash, but will you survive the night? Work together to forage for food, craft a fire, and build shelters, but be wary. Every step you take in Ravine could be one step closer to madness. And... This is pretty impressive. Forbes, Forbes magazine said we immediately played another round, and Gameocity said it's a tremendously good time, so it's already gotten good reviews. That's pretty impressive. Let's take a look inside. All right, he's got a little booklet here. Looks like there's only th three pages of rules, so it should be simple to learn. Goes over a, let me zoom in a little bit. Overview setup, and then it's talking about a round cycle. And foraging. And let's see, forge craft car and craft card types. It's got food, uh-oh, whatever that is. I'll find out when I read the rules. Bone pile, crafting, and fire. And then it's talking about spears, baskets, and shelters. And night obviously has some significance in this game, and it's also talking about madness. And here's winning. If you're in t The first way is if your entire party perishes before the rescue card is turned over, you're... Your doomed trip in the wilderness fades into history. Perhaps a search party will one day find your remains and shudder at what horrors befell your group. Well, it looks like you didn't win if that was the case. Uh, the other one, if at least one of your party can survive until the rescue card is found, congratulations, you survived to be rescued from Ravine. The battered survivors can survivors can return to society fielding lucrative offers for book deals made for tvs and tabletop game adaptations of your harrowing experience so that sounds pretty interesting let's take a look inside got these wooden game pieces here they have hearts on them which i don't know if that stands for health or life or what it's got a big token here Nice that they're all made out of wood, and some of the hearts have uh, X's on them. And a little baggy, uh, cloth baggy to store those. Let's take a look at the cards. Chanterelle. So that's food. So it's got all sorts of food cards here. Dandelion's food. Yeah, those actually are food. Wasp nest, uh-oh. Moose, uh-oh. So those are like dangers. More food. Minnows. Rabbits. Most people don't know, if you're starving and all you eat is rabbits and nothing else, you'll actually die of rabbit star starvation. It's pro protein poisoning. Wild rabbits have such little... Uh, fat on their bodies that if you eat just the meat uh, uh, eventually uh, your body can't process the protein and you'll actually starve so if you're gonna eat rabbits while you're stuck in the wilderness make sure you eat the liver and the eyes and uh, all the internal organs too sounds disgusting but that's what you'll have to do to keep from getting protein poisoning bone piles baskets spears Shelters, Family Matters, Showdown, Copycat. Interesting. Throwing fix, Fits, the effect, violently throw all your cards and only keep what cards land face up. <laughs> Busted Spaceship, from now on you can only call Forge or Craft Induce, Flux Looser Inducers. Interesting. All right, these cards here say Ravine on them. Looks like they got some constellations on the back. See what these are about. So 
So these are crafting guides, showed how to craft like stuff, interesting, or how to make things. Den perk, oh these are found items. Adrenaline syringe, interesting. Cave deer. Rain, giant squirrel. Cougar, the rescue, you've been found. So this is a card you're looking for. If you want to play a big trick on someone, you can have them play the game and intentionally don't put that card in the deck, but that's only if you want to be mean. <laughs> All right, so this is more craft stuff. There's little items you can use. Wood, fiber, more food. So this looks pretty cool. Um, it's got a lot of cards and stuff. I think it's going to be interesting to play. I hope to try it soon and write a review. So thanks for watching and please click like on the video if you liked it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, have a good evening.